Oh my god, guys, these so-called free-to-play games, they should be illegal, seriously. Well, for most of us, these games are totally fine, but really, these games are made to be addictive, and so carefully designed, you want to spend your money on it. So this Japanese guy, he was so addicted to the game, called Grand Blue Fantasy. It's some kind of a turn-based RPG, and you have to level up your characters and their abilities, well, you can unlock everything by doing quests. You can also spend real money on crystals, which are only $2.67 each. That's not very expensive, you say? Well, you're right. But combine that with a very dedicated player base, a very rare female character to unlock, compared to the Team Fortress 2 Golden Frying Pan, well, on the New Year's celebration promo of the game, the chances of unlocking that super rare character were doubled. Combine that with a basement dwelling, internet addicted Japanese kids, and you get a recipe for disaster. So this guy decided, now I'm finally going to get her, nothing will stop me from getting this goal. So we started buying a shitload of crystals, up to the point he had spent over $6000 on the game. Hey, but he did get the character, so it's all good, right? Okay, I have to admit, I have spent some money on free to play games as well. In Team Fortress 2 for example, I do unboxings and I do buy some of the new weapons that come out, but I know my limits guys. It's just a virtual item and yes it might be worth some real money, but in my opinion you're better off spending your money on an actual game rather than some in-game item. Unfortunately this free to play thing isn't going to disappear because of all the big money that's involved and it might have even cost us Half-Life 3, but you guys know the story behind that right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and see you on the next one.